Remora's Big Mouth Remora was a little fish who always swam next to the biggest shark in the sea. It was his job to keep shark clean and smooth as they swam the oceans. Remora felt very powerful swimming with shark, so instead of cleaning, he would spend his time picking on other sea animals. Hey, fatty, he would call puffer fish and laugh out loud. Why do you have so many legs, eight-legged freak? He would say to Octopus. You're not a real fish, you're just a sucker, he would shout at Starfish. All the sea animals thought he was mean, but Remora didn't care because he was swimming at the top of the food chain. One day, Remora woke up and found that Shark had left him behind. He swam and swam and eventually caught up with him. Why did you leave me? He asked. Because you don't clean fast enough. All you do is shout at the other animals, said Shark. Now scram before I have you for dinner. So Remora swam away as quickly as possible. He swam to the reef to hide amongst the coral formations. But before he could hide, Pufferfish and Octopus swam into his path. Well, well, if it isn't Mr. Big Mouth, said Pufferfish. Let's push him into that fire coral, suggested Octopus. That will teach him. Please, please, I'm sorry for making fun of you, pleaded Remora. But they wouldn't listen and pushed him towards the stingy fire coral. Leave him alone, said a voice behind them. It was Starfish. He swam by and saved Remora before the coral could sting him. Just because he was mean doesn't mean you have to be mean back. Follow me, Remora, said Starfish, and led Remora away across the reef. Starfish took Remora to his favorite coral formation. I used to make fun of the others too, because they aren't beautiful and pointy like me, said Starfish. And then I realized that it doesn't matter what I look like if I didn't have any friends. So I said sorry to everyone, and I wasn't mean anymore. It took a long time for them to forgive me, but it was worth it. We all need friends. So Remora decided he should apologize to Pufferfish and Octopus. He found them playing just outside the coral reef. Hey, he called. I'm sorry for calling you names. Being with the sharks made me feel important, but I shouldn't have treated you badly. Pufferfish and Octopus thought about what he said. Well, okay, said Pufferfish. Sorry for trying to shove you into the coral. It's just that when you are mean, we want to be mean back at you. They invited him to join them in a game. Next time, said Remora. He wanted to go back to Starfish to thank him. On his way back, he saw Shark chasing a young seal. Starfish swam up to Remora and shouted, What do we do? Seal's my friend. We have to save him. Remora looked around and saw the fire coral. Remora swam up to the stinging fire coral and called out to Shark. Hey, big teeth, over here. Shark saw Remora and swam towards him. You better watch your mouth or I'll eat you too, threatened Shark. Not if you can't catch me, you big hawking bully. This made Shark even angrier, and he shot down at Remora like a rocket. Remora stayed completely still as Shark swam towards him, his mouth wide open and teeth sticking out. Nice teeth, Shark! Did you get them from a sardine? taunted Remora. This made Shark even angrier, and he swam even faster. But just before Shark bit him, Remora darted out of the way. Shark crashed into the fire coral at top speed. Oh, oh! He screamed in pain and swam away from the coral reef. Pick on someone your own size, shouted Remora as Shark scurried away. Thank you, thank you, said Seal. And Starfish congratulated Remora on a job well done. From that day on, Remora and Starfish became the best of friends and vowed to protect the reef from anyone who was mean just because they could be. And 
that's how Remora used his big mouth for something good. Thank you.